Hi everyone, welcome back to an episode of Hope and Coffee. I am here with, I believe we have decided the name shall be Mugsley for the owl. So Mugsley, welcome to the program. Um, today's episode is actually going to be a small pup date uh, regarding Argos and Leo. And I'm going to put a little graphic probably over here somewhere uh, regarding one that I've just created for them um, that I found super fun. So this is, this is not sponsored in any way. I just want to tell you how I made this graphic. Um, there is a website or there is a program called Kittle, K-I-T-T-L, that I stumbled across and you're more than welcome to go check it out. Again, not sponsored, so I am not going to link any sort of affiliates here at all. You're welcome to do your own research to find it. Um, however... I wanted a program that was going to allow me to explore some creative avenues to create designs and just see what I could do. Didn't know where to start and Kittle gave me the option to be able to uh, create and design um, images. So I was able to use some of their AI as well as um, some of their pre-generated like images and alter them in such a way that helped me kind of create some images that I liked that were tailored more to my style and to what I was going for with regards to marketing and imaging and logos and things of that nature. So wanted to give them just the smallest little shout out to thank them for such an excellent product that is not only user friendly, but is um, pretty fun to use and I find that I keep going back to it when I get a fun little idea. So thank you so much, Kittle, for just having something fun that I enjoy playing with. But anyway, back to the pup date and to the pups, Argos and Leo. They are doing fantastically. Um, it's been a little while since we've done a little bit of a pup date. Leo, he is the newest rescue to our family. He is a Yorkie. And now I'm not one who... Um, does any sort of like I don't shop for pups at all uh, Argos is he is my big man but he is still my baby he is he was 11 in September so he'll be 12 now that we are in 2024 uh, Leo was um, found at a rescue here in Huntsville Alabama through Rocket City Rescue so I want to thank them for taking wonderful care he was with one of their foster families uh, at the time that I found him, he was on their Pet Finder website. So please go look at Pet Finder if y'all have never looked at Pet Finder. Uh, it's a wonderful resource if you are looking to adopt and not shop. Um, again, I am one who loves to adopt to find any little fam, anybody who needs a little family to join. Um, I've even considered maybe adding a kitten to the group but I'm just not sure that I have time to train a kitten. However, Leo has been doing wonderfully. Um, he is actually over on the bed right now staring at me. I love the fact that he follows me like a little duckling wherever I go and um, sleeps right next to me kind of in my little shoulder crook and um, has just recently really started kind of coming out of his shell even more, starting to kind of play, really showing his personality, and um, kind of taking his time to um, come out and figure out what it means to be a puppy. Uh, I don't know if I shared with you all, but I'm sure I did, that when I first got him, the story that I was told was that he came from a puppy mill, that I think he was one of the dogs that was being bred in order to produce these puppy litters. Um, he is approximately seven years old as of January 16th and um, has probably never lived a very good life, a very loved life, and has probably never had 
a family to call his own. Well, now he has joined Argos and me, and we are trying to give him as much love as possible. The vet says he is healthy, he is happy, he is the perfect weight, and has, sees no issues with him right now. He is just a little shy and a little anxious, and we are working on that. We are not giving him any meds to try to calm the anxiety, yet it's not that bad. Although he has been getting car sick a little bit, so we may look into trying to calm his nerves for car rides. But for now, we're going to kind of leave it as is and see how he does. Argos, on the other hand, has been doing phenomenal as well. So I know I shared with you all that he was diagnosed with diabetes in about August. And around July... He had his annual checkup, and I want to say he was a very, oh, well, he was a very overweight size of between 27 and 29 pounds. He was a very well-loved, very thick boy. Um, he had a very sedentary life, which was also one of the reasons that I wanted to get him a little brother. I wanted to get him someone he could play with when I was at work someone who could entertain him, get him moving a little bit more. I also got him on prescription dog food, as well as his medicine of getting his insulin regulated, as well as um, making sure his treats are specifically regulated to what he can have and they don't spike his blood sugar. So happily, he just had a glucose curve this past weekend and he is doing phenomenally well. The glucose curve was good and he is down to exactly 19 pounds. So he's exactly where the vet wants him to be. He does not need to lose any more weight. He is just at the weight that he needs to be and he is doing so wonderfully. So wanted to send a little shout out to Argos for being such a good boy. He's actually playing. He is running around the yard. Uh, he's helping his little little brother come out of his shell and they are doing phenomenally. Now funny enough when I got home from work today now when I go to work I leave them on the bed. Now uh, when I leave them on the bed they have the view for outside. They get all their pillows. I usually cover the bed with like a doggy blanket. They have a, a little pee pad just because Leo sometimes like he has a little accident. His bladder I assume is the size of an acorn and I leave a little bit of like food and a little bit of water just in case they need to hydrate or anything throughout the day. However, Argos must have fallen off the bed because he was on the floor barking at me when I got home. And that is such a rare occasion. I don't know the last time that this little man has fallen off the bed. So I don't know if he just slipped or what, but he totally seemed fine. He was just looking at me like, mom, put me back on the bed because that is his happy place. And anybody can tell you that he loves being on the bed. You don't even have to like, you don't even have to ask him to go on the bed. Like that's just where he wants to be. So he was never kennel trained and neither was Leo, but they both seem to feel like the bed is their safe place. It's high enough that I think they feel like nothing's going to get them, but they can also have a good view of different things around them as well. They can usually see me while I'm in the living room through the doorway, but they can also see me over here as I'm doing my recordings and stuff like that. Um, if they want down, all they got to do is give me a, like a little woof or a little hoof, and I will go get them and take them wherever they want to go or put them on the floor and let them wander around. But... Argos doesn't really like to walk on the floor when it's like when there's no carpets so I tried to put as many carpets as I had throughout the apartment however if it's just kind of like that um, laminate flooring then um, he doesn't like to walk on that he feels like he slips and slides and I think his arthritis kind of flares up when he does that so he feels unstable Leo on the other hand will just do circles like the bathroom that's kind of technically behind me through this door um, the bathroom goes into the kitchen, the kitchen goes into the living room, the living room comes through my bedroom, and it makes a little circle. Well, Leo can literally walk that circle, like, constantly. He loves making that little circuit. Um, and 
And sometimes I'll sit on the floor and he'll make a little circle one way and he'll go back in the other way. And it's the cutest little thing. But anyway, I am going to link down below a li their little puppy Amazon wish list. They are doing so, so well. I will probably also link our store envy account, which just has some merch available. And I did start another one called buy me, uh, I think it's called buy me a coffee. So, you know, this is hope and coffee after all. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all on the next page. Oh, and by the way, if you've made it this far, I also have a second channel. The second episode will probably be coming out tomorrow, but the second channel is called Coffee, Books, and Rain. And wanted to kind of keep it with the same theming because of course this is me and coffee. Um, I should probably talk about coffee more to you guys, but I, I think I sit here and drink enough coffee with you when we're here together. Um, but anyway, I am dropping the second episode tomorrow on Coffee, Books, and Rain, and I'm hoping to drop episodes on that channel every Tuesday and Thursday, and then dropping episodes on this channel the rest of the days. So hopefully Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday on this channel, and giving myself Sunday just a little bit of a break. So we shall see how that works out. But until then, thank you so much. Like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you on the next page. Have a great one.